Hello. Hello, do you listen to me? Carlos? Hello, Carlos. Carlos. Good evening, Carlos. Carlos, ¿me escucha? Hola, Carlos. Carlos. Hola, Carlos. Carlos, ¿me escucha? Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. Ay, okay. You know, I was concerned that you didn't listen to me. Me preocupaba que no me escuchara porque se acaba de actualizar uh, Zoom y me estaba enviando un mensaje que Windows Defender había bloqueado algunas algunas aplicaciones, que okay, algunas. No. Y entonces creí bien. que era el, el audio. Entonces, oh my God. No, es que no estaba en la computadora. Fui ah, al baño. Okay. Ya regresé. ok. So I'm safe. Everything is nice then. Ok. And in one minute we are going to get started. Today is Friday. Congratulations. You are done with your work in the platform. Excellent. Thank you. Now you are free. Ok. Quiero una consulta. Dígame. Este. Eh, con respecto al, al tranquilo <ríe> mucho grito este muchacho <ríe> este lo, los diplomas del primero todavía no, no, no están disponibles no han no ha consultado con recursos humanos sí ya mandé a preguntar y dijeron que con Insafor era era la cuestión Mm. Que, había que, que con ellos eran, no era con la academia porque ellos los otorgaban. Dijeron. Es que Algo es, que es en Safor, pero la academia es la que me parece los envía por correo a recursos humanos. Pero hasta que okay. ya están listos, porque imagínense que son tantos cursos a nivel nacional de las diferentes eh, instituciones, ¿verdad? Entonces todos llegan a manos de Insafor. Ay, también Hay con que respecto a la respecto a la inscripción, el módulo 3. Sí. Eh, no sé. Espérate, espérate. No sé si les recuerda ahí, pero no, no han enviado un, no. un mensaje. Al menos, al menos a mí no me ha caído un eh, mensaje no, para, no, para ya, la reinscripción. Ya, ya, ya lo enviaron, me comentaban ayer unos compañeros. Pues ah. a mí me cayó hasta, hasta ayer que lo solicité porque pregunté. Uh -huh. Pregunté porque no me habían enviado nada, entonces, pero como yo estuve pendiente, ¿no? y sí. también mandé a preguntar a Recursos Humanos si la habían enviado. Si lo habían dijeron, recibido. Ajá, si, la, si se las habían enviado ahí, me dijeron que no, pero yo les dije, entonces, pregunten para que, pues sí, vale, pregunten. Que, Correcto, que para, para acelerar el proceso. Entonces, pero hasta entonces, hasta hoy lo enviaron, o sea, por eso les digo que... que, que si... Lo que sucede es que como es tanta gente, ¿verdad? Que a veces sí, quizás imagino. creen que sí y, y no se envió, pero qué bueno, por eso es que hay que estar pendientes, porque sí, ayer algunos compañeros me comentaban que sí ya les habían enviado el para la preinscripción, y a usted sí. Filomena ya le enviaron. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, good evening, thank you for being here. Sí, ya le enviaron para la preinscripción. Este, hoy me cayó el correo. Ok, muy bien. Hello, Ivania. Hoy... Ivania Olmedo. Hello, Miss Ivania. Okay, Hello, también ya, ya le llegó la, la eh, solicitud del formulario para la preinscripción del módulo 3. Sí, hace como dos días. Ajá, sí, entonces quizás hace como dos días comenzaron a enviarlo, ¿verdad? Es que ahora hay otro correo, pero no es de... Es para la inscripción, pero no es para el módulo 3, sino como como una invitación así como como para empezar de cero sí pero ahí es donde ustedes se inscriben que es en el número tres sí porque es Ajá. genérica la invitación sí es que el proceso es que lo, el proceso es el, es el mismo, mismo en todos mismo, los módulos el proceso es el mismo solamente van a ir cambiando eh, recursos humanos al nivel que va a ir verdad al módulo tres pero no, el proceso pero es que en el otro que nos mandaron o sea es que el que mandaron ahora es como informativo y el, el anterior sí si dicen específico para el módulo 3 y hay unos ah, adjuntos del formulario. Lo que le cayó a usted fue la, 
fue la videoconferencia de, 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 de introducción que hacen antes. Quizás van a empezar el curso la siguiente semana. Probablemente. Sí, porque uh -huh. hasta tiene otras fechas de ingreso ese que mandaron sí. ahora. Quizás ahí se equivocan. Sí, probablemente, pero entonces ustedes eh, a través de recursos humanos, ¿verdad? Confirmen para que les envíen el formulario correcto y ya estén en la preinscripción, ¿de acuerdo? Uh -huh. Ok, hello, Clelia, welcome. William Francisco, William, William Francisco, hello. And Brandon, hello, welcome, good evening. I am so happy that you are here, class, ok. Uh, we were making comments about the uh, pre-registration for level three, for module three. Estábamos hablando sobre el, el proceso para la preinscripción pre del módulo 3, que algunos sí me comentaban que ya les había llegado, a otros aún no. Entonces, si aún no les ha llegado, a través de recursos humanos lo pueden solicitar, ¿de acuerdo? Porque como son bastantes estudiantes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, no voy a hacer que se queden fuera, ¿de acuerdo? Ok, class, I am so glad that all of you are here. Today is Friday. The last Friday of the month, October. And Monday is our last day of classes. And Monday is the last day of the month too. What a coincidence, right? And we are going to get started because we need to practice as much as possible. I am so glad that all of you are here and we are going to take advantage of the connectivity and also of the uh, attendance of the partners over here. And let's get started. Okay. I'm going to share my PPT with you, class. Today is October 28th, Friday, October 28th. And I'm going to share my full screen over here. We have in the agenda for today, our video conference number 19, activity number one, greetings. We're going to have a feedback. In number three, we are going to read the objectives. In the pre-task, you are going to be identifying polite and impolite sentences. In the preparation task, you have to make impolite requests and you listen to a specific request and the wrapping up of the class, okay? So here we have the objectives. One volunteer, please, to help me reading the objectives. Who wants to help me reading the objectives today, this penultimate day of classes? Thank you, Vania. Please. A specific objective. Participants will be. Oi. Pero me teacher que me tapa aquí es. Ah, okay. Participants will be able to make informal requests. Class objective. Participants will be able to use can for informal requests. Excellent. Thank you so much. And you see, today we're going to work with Ken for informal requests. Um, well, I think that the people in the class at the moment, you are done with your homeworks and some of you are still owing me the final test. Only the final test. Algunos me están debiendo el examen final. Pero las tareas, los presentes, por lo menos, estuve revisando justo antes de entrar a la clase, ya las completaron. Entonces, a terminar, quienes no hayan terminado ese final exam. Okay? And as a reminder, the requirements, your full name, a camera on during all the session, the sound off, unless it is required to activate it and active participation. The attendance, okay, you are required 120 minutes in class. The attendance is going to be taken twice every session. And at the end, one of you is going to stay with me to have a one-on-one -on -one session, yes? Okay, to 
to reinforce something or to clarify any doubt. Again, in Zoom, the mute button, the camera on, chat is available, the breakout rooms too, and the ask for help button is available and always asking mutual respect. And I have to congratulate you because you always respect one another. We are here week number four. We have been through week one, two, three, and four, okay? So on Monday, 31st is our last day together. And I expect that all the tests are going to be done today at midnight, okay? And here we have as a feedback, this conversation. Remember, practice makes perfect. How do you get fluency in any language? By practicing, repetition. How do you get a lot of expertise driving? Only driving, yes or no? ¿Cómo es que nos volvemos expertos a la hora de manejar? Solo manejando, yeah? The same happens with the speaking. If you repeat, repeat, and repeat, practice, practice, and practice, then you are going to get fluency because you're going to get confidence. Porque van a lograr seguridad en lo que están hablando, en lo que están diciendo. So that is why we are going to practice with this conversation again. The conversation is between Max and Joe. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max. My name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. Setting it up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you remember could? L is not pronounced. Neither O. Could. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on? Hold on to words in one because it is a compound verb, a phrasal verb. Hold on. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's an ultimate page. Ulti page. MX hyphen city. Okay, first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. Plugged in? No. Plugged in. Forget about this E. Plugged in. All right. It is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. We have heard these instructions in Spanish. And now you are familiar to this uh, kind of instructions in English. So I think there's no problem for you to practice it. I'm going to share this with you and you have it in your manual so you can go to the breakout rooms and you can practice, okay? You need to practice as much as possible. Good evening, David. Emmanuel, Danny, welcome. Blanky, welcome. Nilton, welcome. Okay, thank you for being here. Jenny's Caroline, so happy to have you here. Okay, great. And, okay, over here. I'm going to share it so you can have it at hand. Mm -hmm. But you have it in the manual also. But to avoid any inconvenience, I'm going to share it with you over here. Okay. There you are. And now, Let's go to the breakout room so you can have a good practice with that conversation. Focus first on pronunciation and later focus on confidence, fluency, 
try to do it as fast as possible, okay? The two things. First, pronunciation and intonation. And later, focus on fluency, yeah? Marlene is joining. Well, hello, Marlene, Anna Marlene, welcome. Great to have you here. <laughs> hello. So here, let me see how many people, okay. And Marlene is connecting. Okay, well, hold it until she's here so she can join to one group from the be beginning. Welcome, Mar Marlene. Welcome, teacher. Okay, good evening. Here we go. There is one team in which we have four participants and in the other teams we have three. When your classmates start joining, I'm going to join them to the different groups, okay? Now let's begin with the practice. Actually, Jonathan is joining. Hi, good evening. Hi, Jonathan, good evening, welcome. Okay, you are really welcomed. Okay, now we have three students in each group and one group of two. Open your eyes because I'm going to send you the invitation. Okay, here we go. I sent you the invitation. Hey, Danny, join your group, please. Daniel, group number three is yours. Danny. Daniel, we are waiting for you. In group number three. Okay, see you later, Danny. Pero yo aquí se las voy. <risa> teacher, teacher. Yes. Solamente, so, eh, es como iba entrando, solo vamos a practicar el diálogo o vamos a hacerle cambios. Este, no, con you just datos? practice and focus on uh, pronunciation and intonation. Yeah, ah, okay. because I need you to practice as much as possible the good pronunciation, not just to read it by reading. Okay. Entonces no, nos regañamos entre uno a los otros. Yeah, that's it. You focus <laughs> okay. on that, right? Okay. Because Bye. that is the idea. Uh -huh. Okay, okay very teacher, well. Thank you. Don't be concerned Bye. about, uh, Ay, we have to create. A... No, not now. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. Jonathan, Bye. Jonathan, Jonathan is going to read perfectly, lentes. yeah? Because when they, <laughs> when they wear those glasses, you read perfectly. Okay, bye. 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 Hello, Clelia, Marlene. Hello, Peter. How are Hello. you? Let's begin with the practice of the conversation. You may share your screen if you want to. Eh, yo como no sube la explicación, eh, vamos a practicar la conversación nada más. Yes, that's it. Focusing okay. on pronunciation and intonation. Later, you practice as fast as possible to practice fluency, okay? Okay, okay, teacher. Okay, great. Bien. Is the tray and three on the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete install.
Okay, class, here we go. I want you to listen to what I am going to read, okay? Listen to the pronunciation of the words. Hello, this is Max Flores from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Max, my name is Joe. I work for pips.com. We received the new printer and I need help setting it up. I need help setting it up. Could you help me please? Could you help me please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Uh, it's an multi-page MX-3. Okay, hold it because Daniel is joining right now. Okay. And then we continue. Okay, first make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check the installation CD is in the tray, tray, bandeja, okay, in the tray. And third, once, once, una vez, once, the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install, okay? Now practice this conversation. Here, Serafine, William, and Nilton. Please continue with the practice. Okay. Bye. A multi page MF hyphen 30. Oh, first, make sure uh, that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need? to do next, please. Second, check uh, that the installation CD is in the train. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay. okay. Hello, this is Max from Tech Support. How can I help you? How much? My name is Joy. I work for Pips. Pips at com. We resigned the new printer and I need help setting up. Could you help me, please? No problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? Let me check. Can you hold on a second, please? Oh, it's in Ultipage MX30. Okay, for first, make sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need uh, to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray and third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, thanks. Ok, no sé si, si lo quiere practicar con Jenny. Ok, okay. Jenny, okay. no sé. Vale, comienzo. Hello, this is Mark from Dead Support. How can I help you? Hi, Mark. So, Terry. 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 Ok. Ok, Phil. Good evening, Walter. Sure that the power cord is plugged in. All right, it is. Could you tell me what I need to do next, please? Second, check that the installation CD is in the try. Until once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install. Okay, okay. I remember that. Ajá, le, voy poner, le voy a poner punto menos al quien hizo este manual porque no le pusieron punto final al diálogo. 
Okay. Ah, sí, yeah. Okay, Johnny Depp. Your <laughs> <laughs> the Caribbean. This, this week Halloween. Yeah, next Monday. Okay, great. <laughs> Okay, continue practicing. Okay. Remember here you you have also Juan Ezequiel, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Welcome, Juan Ezequiel. Bye. 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 Yo, eh, voy a practicar ahorita este diálogo, Juan, con Carlos. Eh, Peri. 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 Uh -huh. Okay, Fritz. Make sure that the power card is plugged in. Ali, Ari, it is called you tell me what is need to you to do next, please. Second, check that the installation CD is in the right and tie once, once the menu appears on the screen. Click on complete. Ahora Brandon con, con Ana Marlene. Ok. Comienzo yo, comienzo ahí. Ok, Brandon. Mm, hello. Ok. Ah, comienzo yo, comienzo. Comienzo yo. Hello, oh. this is Mac from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi Max, my name is Joy. I work for Peachcom. We received the need printer and I need help setting it. Could you help me please? Okay, no problem, Joe. Could you tell me the model? The model? Like, let me check. Can you hold on second place? What is it's an occupied um, street. Okay, first make sure that power car is, um, is plugged in. All right, all right, it is called you told me what it needs to do next. Please. Second, check that installation city in the RAID. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click the complete click on complete install. Remember guys, arriving. Arriving, arrive, arriving. Uh, another one that I listen to um, once. Second, check that the installation CD is in the tray. And third, once the menu appears on the screen, click on complete install, okay? And here you are with uh, Ana Marlene, Clelia, Marlene, and Brandon. Did Marlene practice? Yes, teacher. Es que primero estaba en otro grupo, pero pasé por un yeah. lugar que no hay señal. Y se oh, me sacó. yo se conecté. Volví a entrar y caí en este grupo. Yeah. Hay que okay. practicar en el otro y practicar en el otro. Ok, este. excellent. Amazing. <laughs> ok, good. So everybody practiced. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Yes. So you only need to to recall class that you forget about how it is said in Spanish because some of you tend to say arriving. No, arriving. Okay, arriving. 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 Yeah. That's why pronunciation and intonation. And when you master that, then you go over the fluency speed. Okay, trying to sound as natural as possible. Okay, great. Now let's get back to the main session room so I can take your first attendance. Thank you for your active participation. Okay. 
Okay, the other partners are in their way back. They are returning. <laughs> okay, Juan, you're present, thank you. Here we go. Ana Marlene. Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Veronica. Pero. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Brandon. Present teacher. Okay, I see you. Thank you so much. Carlos Miguel. And here, teacher. Ah, okay. I didn't recognize you. You look kind of different right now. Okay. <laughs> he has been <laughs> wearing different disguises today. Okay, uh, Carmen, Carmen, are you here? No, Carmen. Okay, maybe later on. Clelia? Present. Okay, thank you. Dani? Daniel? Yeah. Thank you. David Emanuel? Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivania Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Janice Caroline. Present teacher. I appreciate. Jonathan. Here I am. Great. Jose Dimas, I saw you over okay. here. Okay, thanks. Okay. Jose Manuel, not yet. Jose Manuel, not yet. Okay. Jose Mario, not yet. Juan Ezequiel, here. Juan Ezequiel. Present teacher. Okay, so you see I say your names twice. Marlene Oneida. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, I saw you, Nilton. Present teacher. Great. Serafin, are you here? Serafin, here I am, Miss. Great. William Francisco Flores. Present. Murillo. <laughs> Filomena Luz. Present. Great, Miss. Thank you. Blanqui, Blanca Luz. Present, present teacher. Thank you so much, Blanqui. Alejandra Michel, not available at the moment. And Noe is absent. Okay. Uh, Jose Dimas. Can you answer my question, please? Hello, teacher. Can you answer my question? Yes. Yes, I do. No, 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 no. Listen, you have to pay attention to the auxiliary that the other person is using when they are talking to you. In the case, when I ask you, can you answer my question, please? Then you say, yes, I can, or no, I can't. Uh, okay. yeah. uh -huh. Because I ask you, can you answer my question, please? Yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. 
obviously. Hasta pies, hasta pies se va. Okay. Mm. Okay. Usually, when people ask you something with the word please, you have no alternative than to say yes. Yes. But if they just say, answer my question, sometimes you say, mm, I'm sorry, I can't. Yeah. Because of the way they address to you. This is part of what we're going to be studying right now. And here I'm going to share with you. Uh, I would appreciate, okay, if you turn off, if you turn off the microphones. Thank you so much. And here we go. Okay. This is what you have been practicing. The structure with could and can, yeah? Remember, can is the moral auxiliary in present tense. Could is the past tense of can, yeah? And both of these are polite requests, okay? But one is formal and the other one is informal. You already know that. Now, you are going to work in a small groups and as the production of your groups, I need you to write 10 formal requests using could, okay? After that, you're going to choose one class partner to share the sentences in the main session room. In other words, as a group, you, you create 10 formal requests using could. And at the end, when you are sure the sentences are okay, the request using could, you choose one representative in order to read the sentences for all the class in the main session room. Are the instructions clear? Hello? Um, yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, you're going to, number one, you're going to be transferred, okay, to the breakout rooms as a group. It is not individually, no, no, no. As a group, you are going to write 10 formal requests or sentences using could. Could you listen to me, please? Okay. And so on. After that, you make the decision who's going to represent the group in front of the class in order to be the speaker, to read the sentences that you have produced as a group. Is that okay? Okay. 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 I send you to the breakout rooms. How many sentences are you going to construct as a group using could but polite request? Ten. Excellent. Could you give me a glass of water, please? I'm thirsty. Yeah, that is one. And later, you choose one representative to share the sentences with the class. Is that clear? Okay. Yes, okay. Yes. Here we go. Let me verify. Okay. I'm going to open the breakout rooms right now, okay? Join to your groups, please, if you are so nice. I sent you the invitation. Join your groups. Blanca, I need you in group number two, number four, if you are so nice, Blanca. Blanca Delgado, your classmates are waiting for you. Blanqui. Hello, Blanca. Are you in? Okay, I'm going to double check. 
usando el for you ok voy a hacer unas 10 una... son 10 oraciones <risa> <después> lo tomo <risa> de... <risa> yo ya tengo 5 de la clase pasada <risa> oh. they need to Vamos be a... new <risa> tienen que ser nuevas <risa> Hay una, hay una que, que, ¿cómo se podría decir? Mm, algo así como un poco pesada. Podrías hacerte a un lado. <risa> Could you move away, please? Así, por, así como cuando vamos en el bus, teacher, y me voy a bajar y no dan permiso. Ah, ok. Ah, but you say, excuse me. Okay. Eso significa... Quítese. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Okay. See you later. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Um, teacher, But ten, tengo uno ahí. Yo, para la primera, <laughs> por su germi, sí, yes, yes, por su germi, my yes, princess. excellent. Yes. Ok, eh, en, en cualquier contexto, yeah. teacher, yeah, ok, gracias. Okay. Because eh, remember, how... remember that you use it every day, everywhere, ok, ok. Okay. Video games. Bueno, ok. Teacher, teacher nos está visitando con su grata presencia. Yes, to make <laughs> sure that everything is clear. Yes. Sí. Para que todo está bien, que no hay dudas. Nos estábamos presentando ahorita. Oh, really? Ok, nice yes. to meet you, nice to meet you too. <laughs> <laughs> Sí. Teacher. Bueno. Yes, Miss, tell me. Eh, yo tengo dudas con, con, con esto. Ok, tell me. No, no, no sé si están bien. <laughs> uh, could you help me? Could you help us scan? What do you mean by could you help us scan? Que me ayude a escanear. <laughs> A escanear que. Could you help me to scan? Ah, scan es document. un verbo. Could you help uh -huh. me to scan a document? Document. Ok. Could you help me to scan a file? Could you help me to scan a picture? Could you help me to scan an image? Yes. Memo. Okay. A memo also, yes. But could you help me, blah, blah? Uh, could you help me to scan a, a paper, coma, please, and question mark at the end? Yeah? Tenía esa pregunta, teacher. Este, ¿Es bueno ponerle please al final en esta, cuando se utiliza el sí, code? Por, sí, porque son polite, son más... Uh, mucho Formales. más no mucho más amables corteses que las otras sí okay. cuando usted agrega please lo hace mucho más cortés muchísimo más amable sí prácticamente empieza con cortesía y termina con cortesía la oración that's it that's correct uh -huh. okay 
Rey Estrafín ahora puede poner la suya, que si le puede servir el cafecito. Help, help, could you help me? Could you help me scan? Y si es documents in plural, you eliminate A. Porque es documentos o un documento, porque no podemos decir un documentos. Ok, coma, coma. Son, son documentos, dicen. Coma, no. please, please. No, ella decidió borrar la S. Could, uh, could you help me? Acá le hace falta el pronombre objetivo que les decía. Could you help me? Could you help me scan? Ok. A document, please. Could you help me file? Archivar algo ahí. Pero le falta el question mark, ¿verdad? The question mark no le falta. Oh, yes. Ah, sí. The question mark. Ok, bye. Bye. Gracias, teacher. Bye, bye my pleasure. Ajá, puede. Pero agregase el like para que sería podría. ¿Verdad, teacher? No sé si estoy mal ahí. He could, he could like to check. No. Could you? Could you? Porque... Check, could you check my computer? Porque usted está solicitándole ah. a alguien directamente. Could you check? Ahí, like, no. Could you check my computer? ¿Podrías revisar mi computadora? Ok. Ahora, si usted le quiere pedir que alguien en específico, digamos al jefe, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. de, de, could he check my computer? ¿Podría él revisar my, mi computadora? Please, coma, please. Ok. Porque son solicitudes que ustedes hacen. Por eso es polite request pedidos que se hacen de forma amable si le agregamos una coma acá y la palabra please se hace aún mucho más amable, mucho más cortés okay. could you check my computer coma please en question mark ok teacher y la segunda está bien ah, could they could they attend the meeting Please, ¿podrían ellos asistir a la reunión, por favor? Could they attend? Ok. At the meeting. meeting? No, the meeting. Could they attend the meeting? Let's eliminate at. Eliminate at. Delete the word at. Yeah. Ok, the meeting, coma, please. Ok, question mark. That's correct. Uh, that is uh, about money is um, impolite, impolite. Es descortés pedir dinero prestado. <ríe> pero sí, muchos ah. tienen esa práctica sí, pero, sí, pero no, hermano. Es cortés, no es cortés porque le incomoda y le dice no tengo ¿verdad? Ajá. ok, sí, pero sí es... tiene razón porque esta pregunta se la haría como a un amigo o alguien de confianza ¿verdad? Ajá. ahí sí se puede pero usted le sería yo considero... Ajá. <ríe> entonces pero el cam no lo estamos utilizando. Sí ahorita. podría, pero no te lo va a prestar. <risa> porque ¿Qué tal si se puede? Porque es que se could es podrías. ¿Sí? Ah. Como que sí, sí o no, pero como esperando que la respuesta sea afirmativa, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, como es utilizando could, no la vamos a realizar esta pregunta. Porque de acuerdo a la cultura anglosajona, esa es impolite. Es una pregunta no, no amable, no cortés. It's an embarrassing question. Es como incómoda, una pregunta incómoda. ¿Sí? Es como preguntar acerca de tu salario, de tu edad. ¿Sí? Ok. 
Okay. Okay, thank you. Mm. Teacher, yes, that does. Could you write the report, please? Could you write the report, please? That's okay, very well. Uh, could you send this email, please? Excellent, yeah. Okay. Mm. Dime, Clele, ¿cómo dijiste call, la primera que acabas de mencionar? Call, you write. Right. Right. Le escribí. Ok, se me trajo la compu. Ok, hold it, relax. Ok. Sí. Eso tendría que hacer con can you, can you use the bathroom, please? Ah, ajá, eso sí. No sería con. Ajá, sería con can. Uh -huh. Pero ustedes tienen que escribirlas todas con could porque son polite. Ajá. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. Hoy es Friday. <laughs> Friday. Hoy es Friday. Teacher. Yes, sir. How do you... Mm -hmm. <laughs> teacher, quiero ver a dónde está. How do you say in eagle? Liver. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh <-huh>. oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, bye bye. <laughs> poor, poor Philomena. Three men and only one lady. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, teacher. Hello, did you finish? Yes, yeah, I'm. Wow. Uh, may I see them? Did you write them or only dictated? Eh, la, la estuvimos leyendo y corrigiendo entre todos porque algunos significados no, no entendía. Ok, may I check them? Sí. No sé si gusta, digamos, la, eh, las tres que construimos cada uno, niños, y después ahí la teacher que nos corrige así. Ok. Ok. Bye. Inicie este Dani. Okay. Could you print me the report, please? Could you print the report, please? Yes. Sí. Okay, continue. Could you change, change my shirt for tomorrow, please? Could you? Change. Change. Sí. My shirt for tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Could you send me the inventory? Please. Inventory. Inventory. Uh huh. Please. Yes. Okay. Great. Very well. Oh, Janice. Okay. Could you lend me the books? Lens, no, just okay. you call you get coffee? Um, call you answer the email. Okay, could, 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 could. forget about L, la letra L, no se pronuncia ni la O. Could, okay, could, could. okay, could you answer the email. Answer. En la palabra answer, answer, the W is not pronounced. La W no se pronuncia. Answer. Okay. Could you answer the email? Could you answer the phone? Please. Okay. Thank you. Ana Verónica. Could you help me with my homework, Janice? Please. Um, call. Could you repeat the instruction to the work activity? I called a rest more, but I have urgent work activities. Okay. Podría. Y la última que construimos entre todos fue, could you receive clients? Receive. Receive. 
receive clients. Receive clients. Could you receive, receive clients? clients? Okay. okay. Very well. Excellent. So I think we're going to get back to the main session room because the people have had enough time in order to write the sentences. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's time for sharing. Thank you. Here we go. Okay, get ready with your presentation. You're going to read the set of sentences, polite requests that you created as a group. Mr. Jose Mejia, welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we were missing you. Okay, class. In the first team, we have Dimas, Edwin, Roberto, Filomena, and Jonathan. We need one representative in order to share the sentences with the class, the ones that you created. Hello, only one. Um, bueno. Okay, well, class, you, I'm going to read for you, okay? Okay. Go ahead, please. Um, could you eat the bread, please? Could you buy the pit food, please? Could you play the guitar, please? Could you buy could what? You, could you buy? Could you play? Buy the pit food. Pit food. Food. Ah, food, because uh -huh. I heard people. <laughs> could you buy the people, okay? No. Continue, people. could you, could you, okay? Could you play the guitar, please? Could you write the report, please? Could you paint a landscape, please? Could, could you find the home, please? Could you send the email, please? Could you visit this client, please? Could you schedule the meeting, please? Could you take the call, please? Finish. Very well done for that group. Congratulations. <laughs> you. Okay, you did it. Good. Now, um, group number two, Ana Veronica, Dani, and Janice Caroline. Who's going to read the sentences? Is someone from that group here? Ana Verónica, Dani, Jenis, Caroline. Ok. Um, doy la lectura de lo que hicimos con los compañeros. I could rest more, but I have urgent work activities. Could you help me with my homework, Jenis? Could you repair the instruction to the work activity? Could you change my chip uh, for tomorrow, please? Could you lend me the book? Could you get copy? Could answer the email? Could you receive clients? 
Okay, thank you very much. Could you receive clients very well? In group number three, Brandon, Carlos Miguel, and David Emanuel, who's going to share with the class? Brand I uh, okay, Brandon, Carlos, or David? Um, um, David. <laughs> okay. Okay. Make the honor. <laughs> Okay, uh, could you help me with my printer, please? Could you play video games today with me? Could you read my name in the list class, please? Could you call the to the customer in the morning, please? Could you give me this check, please? Uh, Tengo la otra. Could you give the report of the week, please? Could you share the result of last week, please? Could you prepare the meeting in the afternoon, please? Uh, could you welcome the regional manager, please? Could you test the new equipment, please? Only teacher. Okay, thank you so much. Unfortunately, Dimas went on a, on a ship, I think. And he's traveling right now. And here, thank you, great. Excellent, now oh, he's back, okay. Um, we have in team number four, Blanqui and Juan Ezequiel, who's going to share with the class. Okay. Pay attention, please. <laughs> could you pay attention, please? Could you pay attention, please? Excellent. No, uh, could you tell me your name? Could you dance with me? Could you drive my car, please? Could you open the door? Could you rent a car? Could they come to us to us? To us? Uh, could I use your computer? Could you talk the blender? Touch the blender? Could you show me your pen? Could you get up from your chair, please? That's it. That's it. Could you stand up from your chair? Okay, stand up from uh, okay. because you get up from the bed. Stand up from your chair. Excellent. Thank you. A variety. And okay. then in room number five, we had Ivania, Marlin Oneida, and Serafin. We know Serafin. who is going to read. Yes. Okay, go for it, Serafin. Very yes. well. Ahorita. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Ok. Could you help me scan a document, please? Could you help me file document, please? Could you write the credit resolution, please? Could you make a memo, please? Could you organize a meeting, please? Could you pay the suppliers, please? Could you, could you teach him how to use the printer, please? Um, could you bring me a coffee, please? Could you help me write my homework, please? E and uh, could you repeat the instruction, please? Again, could you <laughs> repeat the instructions, please? Okay, thank you so much. Great. Very well done, group. And we have Clelia and Nilton. Hello, Clelia and Nilton. Are you here? Hello. Clelia and Nilton, both, okay? Begin, please. Okay, teacher. Uh, could you check my computer, please? 
Could you they attend the meeting, please? Could you write the report, please? Could you send this email, please? Could you return later, please? Could you turn on my computer, please? Could you wait in my office, please? Could you go to the beach with us? us? With and us. Could you, uh -huh. could you lend me a pencil, please? Okay, great. Very well done, class. Congratulations, okay? You did a very good job. And now we move to our next activity. And here we go. Okay, this is what you were doing. And right now, okay, you are going to work in a small groups and you are going to classify the following request in formal or informal. In order to do that, I'm going to share this slide with you via WhatsApp. Okay, here you have a set of 12 requests and you are going to write here next to uh, the sentence, either if it is formal or informal, okay? You read them, analyze them and, okay, you tell me if they are formal or informal. Okay, here, here. Over here, over here, over here, and here. There you are. Okay, you have it. And now we move to the breakout rooms and let's work with that classification, okay? Okay. Do you have any question about the activity, how we are going to work right now? No, you don't. Okay, let's move to the breakout rooms. And, okay, go to your groups because I have three students that I need to move because they got out from the platform. Okay, let me see how it works. Um, Okay, go to number six, Edwin, Roberto, Jose Mejia, join group number four, please. And Marlene, okay, three, 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 okay, great, great, three, 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 okay. Marlene, you go to group, let me see. Group number one, okay, Marlene? Okay, Ana Marlene, please go to group number one. Marlene, I sent you to group number In this group, you are Filomena, Dimas, and Jonathan. I also assigned Ana Marlene here, but I think she's having problems with her connectivity, okay? So you read, analyze uh, if they are formal or informal. Okay. Okay. Stand up, please. Can se utiliza para algo más este, formal. Sería formal. Hola, Dani. Sí, ¿verdad? Ok, Dani. Jenny's Caroline. Sí, es que Jenny se ha levantado. Pero ah, ok, great. Se puede descargar la compra. Ok. Está descargando, buscando okay. el cargador. Ok. Eh, could you repeat that? That please, podría.
Everything is okay in this, in this group. William, Francisco, Brandon, Carlos, and David. William. Yeah, William is here. No lo había visto. Okay. Yeah, because, because uh, he had problems with the connectivity, but he's back, okay? Okay, welcome, William. William, do you listen? William, okay, yeah, he listens. Hello. Hello. Okay, here your partners are Brandon, Carlos Miguel, and David Emanuel, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, bye. William. De eso, ¿verdad? No, ahorita practicar va, pero... Sí. Eh, aquí donde dice, could you let me five dollar, please? Sería, esa sería formal, porque está utilizando could. Yes. Yes. Entonces, la cuarta sería informal. Can you spare your last name? Mm -hmm. No. Ahí viene el... Help me, teacher. Yes, sir. Eh, it's a question de... de, uh -huh. eh, de en, donde dice en la, en la pregunta, ahí donde, donde dice, call you... Call number, you. number three or number four? Number three. Number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes, I was expecting that question. Estaba esperando esa pregunta, díganme. Entonces, en ese caso, dice call you lend. Yo creo que ahí sería algo informal, ¿verdad? Fíjese que es formal con alguien cercano a usted. ¿Por qué? Uh -huh. Pero se lo está pidiendo de una forma tan amable que la otra persona cannot say no. Would you lend me? Porque usted le está pidiendo hacia usted un favor. ¿Sí? Please, mm. de esa forma, por eso es embarrassing, porque es incómoda, porque lo pide tan amable, que, pero cinco dólares, five dollars, ya. Yeah. Algo informal, ¿verdad? Yeah, it's formal, formal, in a serious way, in a very polite, polite, but oh. formal. Muy cortés, es una forma muy amable. Y sería decirle, could you lend me five dollars, please? Maybe you really need it. Sí, Otherwise, perfecto. you're going to say, hey, lend me five dollars. Préstame cinco dólares, yes or no. Así, así se hace. Ah, ah. informal. Ya, ya, son formal, dos, ya ahí son 200, ya es más formal. Ah, ok, no, more serious, I would say. <risa> Pero 5 ah. no, yo pensé que era informal. Ah, oh. <risa> ok. Ok, okay Puedes comprar okay. como papel, este papel. Uh -huh. Sí, sí. Ok, eso tenía duda, no sabía. Hello, teacher. Marcamos con color las que son informales y las formales las dejamos sin marcar. Ok. You use your creativity. Ok, very well. You didn't have any problem. All of you were in agreement with this uh, classification. No hubo problema o divergencia, todos estuvieron de acuerdo con el consolidado que tienen. Yes. Yes. Todos, todos estamos de acuerdo, pero teníamos dudas porque las que tienen que al, al final tiene please, entonces estamos pensando si eran formales con, con please. No, si es que es que es que es formal o informal, son polite requests, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y como uh -huh. estábamos viendo ayer, se puede utilizar con ambas, please, porque son corteses, pero una es más uh -huh. cortés que la otra. Cuando utilizamos could, es mucho más amable o cortés que, eh, que cuando can. utilizamos can. Ajá, esa es la única diferencia. Sí. Ah, está bien. Ok. Yeah. Pero las dos son polite requests, nada más que una es a un grado más superior de, de, 
de cortesía, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Suena Era como... fácil este tema, ojalá todos sean así. <risa> ah, ok, yeah, I think so. Okay. I really think so. Ok, great. So it means that you are understanding, right? Because of the topic was easy. Porque el tema estaba fácil, como dice usted, ya. Yeah? <laughs> ok, so let me verify one more group and then we get back, ok? okay. To the, okay so we can share, thank you. Ok, finished? Yes? Finished. Great, <laughs> excellent. Let's get back then. Not a big deal, right? Teacher. Uh, yeah. Um... Let's wait for the others to return. Yes, Dimas, you had a question. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me. Um, si, según el manual, el auxiliar, el can o el co, uh -huh. es el que determina si es formal o informal una pregunta. Uh -huh. Las los dos estructuras son para uh, requests. ¿Verdad? Okay. Polite uh -huh. request. The only difference is that when you use could, it's more polite than with can, because can is less formal, es menos formal que could. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, okay. that's it. And you use in both, please. When you don't use please with can, is even less formal. E incluso menos formal todavía cuando no usa please, ¿ya? Yeah? Uh, ok. Ok. So, depending on the person that you are addressing to. Ok. So, here we go. Let's see how we classify this. Can you stand up, please? Is it formal or informal? Informal. Could you repeat that, please? Formal. Formal. Could you lend me five dollars, please? Formal. Formal, maybe you are saying that to one co-worker because you need it, right, for lunch. Can you spell your last name? Formal. Informal, can you spell your last name? Yes. Can you give me a piece of paper, please? Informal. Could you move your chair, please? Formal. Formal. Yeah, maybe in a restaurant or in a training, right? Can you open the door, please? Informal. Can you turn on the lights? Informal. Maybe you, you use, actually we use it at home. Can you turn on the light? Can you turn off the lights? Could you change the ink cartridge? Informal. Please, uh-huh. Can you install the antivirus in my PC, please? Informal. Formal. Can you buy can you buy a package of paper? Informal. Could you order the snacks for the meeting, please? Formal. Formal. Very well. So you were classifying sentences. And now we're going to work in something kind of different. Okay, we're going to work with the manual over here. Okay. In unit four, we're going to continue working with tech support. You're going to read about printer qualities and answer the questions. You have how many bullets? In each bullet, we have one paragraph. One, two, three, and four, okay? Each paragraph is about one, uh, one item regarding to the printer, color, resolution, speed, and memory. And we say, color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. 
color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, cartridges, one color and one blank ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots, inch, DPI, okay? DPI means dots per inch. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes, 600 DPI. DPI means dots per inch, okay? Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. So we have read, I have read about printer qualities and you have to listen, read one by one in the breakout rooms. You take turns in order to read all the paragraphs. And after you have read and understood, okay, because every time you read, you understand better the information. You are going to answer these five questions, okay? Why is color important for some user? What does DPI stand for? Why are color printers more expensive? Why is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with according to this information? Why? Because now with the everyday changes in technology, maybe this information might not be so updated, okay? So I have a question class. Did you get the idea of what you are going to do in the breakout rooms? Did I explain the instructions clear? Or not yet? More or less, more or less. More or less, more or less, less or more? <laughs> okay, I'm going to tell you. First, step one, I'm going to transfer you to the breakout rooms. Step number two, you take turns to read the different paragraphs. Everybody needs to have the practice of reading the five paragraphs, okay? Here is the reading comprehension, okay, activity. And at the end, when all the people in the group has read, when you finish the reading, all the people in the group, all the members, you go over and you answer these five comprehension questions based on this information, okay? Todos tienen que practicar la lectura. Pueden hacerlo. Ah, 
Dimas reads the first time about color. Ivani about resolution, Juan about the speed, and Ana Marlene about memory. And then the second chance, Ana Marlene about color, uh, Dimas about resolution, Juan about memory, and blah, blah, blah. The idea is that all of you have the practice to read all the paragraphs, yes? Yes. Okay, now, do you have any problem with vocabulary or something? Pronunciation? Remember DPI, that's per inch. Excellent, okay? Okay. Slower, color printing slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Inexpensive is the opposite of more expensive, okay? And here we're working at page 44. So here we go. Now let's begin practicing reading. Everybody needs to practice reading and increase your vocabulary because very soon in level number three. Okay, I'm going to open right now the breakout rooms. Go to your groups. Join your groups. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. William, I need you in your group. Ana Marlene, go to group number one, please. William, your group is number three. And Marlene, your group is number one. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, somebody here? Knock, knock, is somebody here? Only Dimas and Filomena. And Jonathan? Jonathan, where are you? Hello. Hi. Ah, okay, you're here. Listen, Ana, Ana Marlene is in this group, but she's having problems with the connectivity, okay? So, okay. see you, let's begin the reading practice. Information. <laughs> Color printer can also be easy to print only in black and white. And white color printers are more expensive. To offer things they use to in cartridge, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain numbers of page users who don't have a specific need for color and Hello Blanqui, no tienen, no tienen la lectura. No teacher. Vaya, se la voy a compartir en este momento y le toma una screenshot, ¿ok? Ok, teacher. Gracias. Ok, there you are. Ok, Don. Sí, ya tomaron la imagen. Sí, teacher. Ok, and now I'm going to share the questions. Take another screenshot. Okay. Okay, great. Gracias. My pleasure. Page with which layers, image or table with lines around then which the printer treat as the large image? 
Okay, next. Sí. No lo logran ver. Yo sí lo veo. Va, si quiere inicia usted entonces. No, yo sí no lo leo, sino aquí lo voy a ver en mi teléfono. Okay. The printer becomes ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Become, becomes 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 Important Con In Spacing Printer Print Only Teacher How do you pronounce Threads O esa palabra In which paragraph How do you say How do you Ah, traits Traits Ah, traits Traits Ok Second Traits. Okay. Okay. Yo comienzo. Color. Sí. Color is important for user who need the print page for precisely for presentation or maths and other place where color is part on under a hundred algo así under teacher a hundred six hundred at six hundred dpi at six hundred that's per inch i per inch Six hundred. Six. Six the six. Uh -huh. Six hundred the cien. Cientos. Six hundred. No, it's not cien. Cientos. Okay. At six hundred DPI. Okay. DPI. Okay. Speed. If you do, if you do much printing, printing, the speed of the printer becomes. Hola, hola Dani. Hola, no le escuchamos muy bien. Memory. Most printer con wits. Uh -huh. Small amount from memory, for example, for megabyte that uh -huh. can be spent spend uh -huh. with the user having more than the minimum with printing or base with large imager of table with lines around the width the printer they as a large image. Okay. Uh, images see? or tables with lines around around them which the printers the printer treats as a large image. The printer treats as a large image. Okay, uh, here, okay. Okay. Ya lo dijimos dos veces, no estábamos intercambiando roles. Dicho. Okay. Now go over the 
reading comprehension questions. Why is color important for some users? Por qué es importante el color para algunos temas? Sorry, no tenía encendido el micrófono. <laughs> color is important for user who need to print pages or page. Okay. Hoy le toca a William. 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 Color is important for users who need color. color. Color is important for users who need to print for presentation or map and other page, page. page where color is part, part of the information color printer can also be set to print only in black and why color print are more expressive to operate in the user to in coloring one color and one black in that need to be repressed after a certain number of the users who don't have a speak need for color and were print a lot for pet we fight a, a black and white printer check to upper. Ok. ¿Cuál me toca a mí ahora? Resolución. Ok. Resolution. Print the resolution, the sharpness, the sharpness of text and image of on paper is usually measured is in dots per inch, DPA. Most inexpensive, in, most inexpensive printers provide sufficient, sufficient resolution for most purpose at 600 dp, dpa. The speed. If ¿Cómo? you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Sigo, memory. Most printer color with a small amount of memory. For example, one Maybe that can be expert, explain be the user having more of the, the minutes amount um, of memory is the helpful and faster we print out there we lag in machine or tablet we learn a lot the wish the print there as a large image okay 
Did you answer the questions? No, no okay, teacher. Okay, go over that, please. Okay. Good. Go over that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, sí. Sí, esa. Sí, esa. Esa sería. What does the DPG start for? Stone, stone. Okay, number two. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user, having having more time, the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing of page with large images. Como aquí sería, algunos son... Si encuentran... Ah, ya, ya, ya. Para, quiere decir que para que se imprime mucho, sale mejor imprimirlo como en página. They use to uh, in cartridges. Cartridges. To new replace cartridges. Como es dicho cartridges. Cartridges, cartuchos, cartridges. Ajá, entonces aquí es de key to operate. Because color printer are more expensive to operate since they use to in cartridges. Yo no map. Entonces la, la, entonces la respuesta sería color is important for user who need to print pay for user who need to print, print page for presentation or maps and other page ese espérenme que, que con la mano me cuesta ¿Cuál sería entonces según? según? Este es color is important for user who need to print. Ah. <laa> A todos ahorita. Ok, number. What are color what? printers more expensive? expensive? Porque las impresoras son, de color son más caras. Pues, quiero ver. Um, aquí, aquí está. The color printers are more expensive to operate. Sí, the e, the más use. expensive to operate uh, at operations they use to in Ajá, sí. Yeah, the color print is a small space to better saying they use to in. Teacher, how do you say cartridge? Cartridge one. Cartridges two and more. Plural, plural cartridges. 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 Uh -huh. Cartucho sería, yeah. entonces sería la traducción y se pronuncia cart. Cartridges. 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 No. Cartridges. 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 Mm -hmm. That's it. Cartridges. Cartridges. That's correct. Cartridges. Ok, entonces de... la respuesta sería esta. They use... ¿Por qué las impresoras de color son más caras? Porque usan dos cartuchos. Eh, 
Hello. Es importante para que necesiten imprimir páginas para la presentación o mapas y otras páginas donde el color es parte de la información. Los, el color de los impresores pueden, ahí sí, no pueden, que, que es also, que es also. Bueno, pueden, um, pueden imprimir en blanco y negro. El color, el, el color de los impresores son más caros para la operación desde que se usan eh, como tinta en cartucho, creo yo que es. Sí, como cartucho. Porque Ajá, se usa tinta en cartuchos. Tinta en cartucho. Ah, ok. Eh, se trabaja de la universidad ahí. En ese laboratorio empecé trabajando en los de, de los de ingeniería, se llamaba Centro de Diseño Digital y ahí tenían plotters y, y cuando imprimían, hombre, sí, era tamaño página en el que se sacaba. Ready, teacher. Ok. And all of you practice the, the reading, obviously, yes? Yes, yes. Okay. And I think that you analyze and understood the reading, yes? Yes. Okay, yes. because you made it personal. It was interesting, right? An interesting yes. reading, yeah? Sí, okay, sí, sí. very well. And let me check your answers. Why is color important for some users? Color is important to users who need to print paper. <laughs> Color. Okay. One megabyte. But I wonder if na I think that now the printers, uh, you don't need to expand their memory because they have now more, more memory, right? because they are more modern. Creo que no, ahora ya no. Son, ya no hay necesidad de eso porque como trabaja también con internet, ¿verdad? La computadora, uh, la, no, la este impresora. Siempre, siempre trae, está bueno con, con David, que siempre trae uh -huh. una memoria, pero depende el, para el uso que se le va a dar. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. cuando son impresoras como las la plotter para oh, que yeah. los planos, Professional, ya. Yeah. Traen una memoria bien grandota porque las impresiones que sacan son como el tamaño de la mesa del comedor. Sí, yeah, they are huge, así. like banners. Y si, y, y si la, porque le, ellos le llaman escalado, digamos, o sea, vienen con una escala bien, bien grandota la, okay. la impresión. Uh -huh. Y si no, y si la memoria no es suficiente, les, les, les hace work. recortar la impresión. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Uh -huh. That is one of the, of the features, features características or traits. Okay, very well. So it was pretty interesting because I think that uh, some of you learned about printers, right? Creo que algunos aprendieron algo sobre las impresoras, yeah? Some of you, yeah? Because if you just use it, but you are not so associated to them, now we know. Okay, I think it's time to get back to the main session room. Thank you so much. Okay, and thank here you. we go. Okay, everybody is returning. 
So get ready, class, because I'm going to take your second attendance because you were so focused on the reading and answering the comprehension questions that I didn't feel like interrupting your activity. So at this moment, I'm going to say your name and you answer to me to take your attendance. Ana Marlene, Marlene. Okay, Marlene is not available at the moment. Ana Veronica. Present. Thank you, Miss. Brandon. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Carlos Miguel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carmen, absent today. Clelia. Present. Always here. Thank you, Clelia. Dani, Dani Alberto. Yes, present. Thank you, thank you. David Emanuel. Present teacher. Thanks. Edwin Roberto. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivania. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Ivania. Janice Caroline. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here, Janice. Jonathan. Ready. Okay, great. Jose Dimas. Jose Dimas. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Jose Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose Manuel. Jose Mario, absent today. Okay, absent. Juan Ezequiel. Hello, teacher. Present. Hello, thank you. Marlene. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss Marlene. Nilton, I saw you. Present. Serafin. Serafin, are you here? Yeah, yeah, Miss. William. Yeah, yeah. William Francisco Present. Flores Murillo. <laughs> Present. Okay, Filomena Luz. Present teacher. Blanca Luz. Blanqui. Present teacher. Okay, great, Miss. Thank Present. You. Thank you so much. Alejandra Michel absent today. Noe absent today. Okay. Now, class, here we go. Now that you have analyzed the questions and you provided an answer, here we go. Okay, let's see. We have five questions. And I'm going to ask one of you to address the question to another partner who was not in your group, okay? Let's begin here. Uh, get ready with the questions and with the answers from group number one. Okay, uh, Dimas, ask question number one to another classmate. Okay. And the question is, why is color important for some user? The uh, answer is because the color No, is you don't have to point. answer. You have to ask the question to another classmate. The other partner is going to answer. You only read the question. Okay. Why is, why is color important for some user? What does DPI stand for? La pregunta uno se la tiene que hacer a un compañero que no ah, estuvo en su equipo y él ah, o ella perfecto. tiene que contestar. Ok. Ah, ¿Qué it's because... Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, ok, ok, we uh -huh. understand. It's Friday <laughs> night. <laughs> ok. Ok, David Emanuel. Debo que está concentrado. Ok, ok, yes. Eh, la primera o, o, o todas? The first question, only one, the first okay. one. <laughs> ok, David. Vale, why, vale, is, <laughs> why is color important for some user? Eh, because for user who need to print a page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Okay, now you, David Emanuel, ask question number two to another classmate. 
Ok. Eh, uh, Clelia. Clelia. Clelia, the question is for you. Clelia, are you here? Ok, say the question to another classmate. Ok. Eh, uh, Filomena. Ok, question number two, Filomena. Eh, what does TPI stand for? Um, don't spend. Inch, that's per inch. That's first. That's yes. per inch. Okay, yes. very well. Now you, Filomena, ask question number three to another classmate. Okay, ya le digo. A Carlos Miguel. Okay, Carlos. Hello. We, we are color printers more expensive. Okay, why are color printers more expensive? Uh, to operate signs, they used to ink car... cartridges. Cartridges. Uh, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Carlos, ask question number four to another partner. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ivania, hello. Hello. Okay, what is something important for some you know, who print a lot? Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printer of pages with large images or tables with lines around them. Okay, now Ivania, question number five. Uh, the question goes to for William. Okay, William Francisco. What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? One megabyte. Okay. Yes. Um, Carlos Miguel, I'm going to ask you to do me a favor. Could you stay with me after the class, please? Okay. Okay, I'm so sorry. Uh, class, thank you so very much for being here. Look at Dima's expression, laughing, okay, with a big smile. Hey class, enjoy your weekend. Remember, don't forget to take the last test. For Monday, everything must be done. Para el día lunes, todo tiene que estar concluido, de acuerdo? Cualquier tarea okay. y el examen final, la, algunos lo deben todavía, ok? Enjoy your weekend, relax, be happy, sleep well, and see you on Monday. Have a good night. Bye bye. Take care. Blessings. Good night. Have a good, good night. night. Bye bye. Night. Bye bye. Enjoy your weekend. Happy good weekend. Bye. Goodbye. Have a good night. Have a good night. Bye bye, Juan. Bye, teacher. Bye, see you Monday. Okay, we're going to have a reading practice, Carlos. Okay. okay. Would you please start reading? Mm -hmm. um, okay. Color. Mm -hmm. Color is important for user who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate signs. They no, no, signs, no, things. Things. Yeah, they, because science is sciences, natural sciences, things. Okay. Puesto que o desde que, things. To operate things, they used to in cartridge. Cartridges. 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 Okay, listen. 
cartridges. Cartridges. Excellent. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages or pages. 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 Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page. Pages. Pages uh, will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Okay, resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpness of text and image on paper. Images, images. images. No, on images, paper. no. Images. Images. Excellent. On paper is usually measured in dots per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at a 600 DPA. No, 600. 600, sería 600. Uh -huh. Yeah. 600 DPA. DPI. DPI. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive Printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing okay. is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expands expanded by the user. Yes. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful. 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 And faster when printing all page pages with large Im images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image images 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 okay printer treats as a large image very well and over here okay uh no this is not the one that i wanted to read Tranquilo. okay <laughs> this okay. one this conversation between mike and maria would you please read it Espérame. Mike and Maria, number page? Uh, that is at page 42. Okay, 42, okay. Stop. Mike, Mike Hernandez, IT department. Hello, Mike. This is Maria Ochoa from accounting. I would like to report a problem with my printer. Yeah. What is the problem, Miss Ochoa? It doesn't seem to be working and it's making a strange noise. Uh, is there a me message in the control panel? Yes, it says service. Also, there is a red light on the error button. I would like you to come soon to check it. I see. I will be there right away. Okay, only two things. Uh, here, okay. Soon. Soon. An error, error button, not error. And over here, says, you don't pronounce the Y. He says, she says, it says, okay? The verb is say, but when we conjugate it with the third person singular in simple present tense, we don't pronounce the Y. Says. It says. Yes. It, says. Uh -huh. it says. Yeah. Uh -huh. And one another thing. Uh, yes. Making a strange noise. I think that. Uh, here. Message. 
message. Yeah, because some people say massage and that's another thing, message. Mm -hmm. And the stress goes in the first syllable, message. Okay. Message. message. Okay, message. to consider that. And over here, this is a short one at page 39, Peter and Robert. Peter and Robert, okay. Good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How come I help you? Hi, Peter, this is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? What is it, Robert? It doesn't I seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Okay, over here. Tech. Remember tech, not tech. 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 No tech. 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 Uh -huh. Only uh -huh. with C. Tech. With, not wide. With. 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 Um, it doesn't seem to work, not I doesn't seem to work. It doesn't seem to work. ¿Dónde está? No lo encuentro. Ah, ajá. Ah, In the penultimate. It, it doesn't seem it to doesn't, work. It doesn't seem to work. Seem to work. Seem, seem, not seem. Seem. It doesn't seem, seem to work. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem to work. Seem to work. Okay. 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 So little details, but they count. What about this one between ever and best? Go over it, please. Ever and best. Okay. Hi, Beth. Long time no see. How are you? Hello, ever. What are you doing these days? I am okay. Well. I am working on a new project. And also, I am taking an English course these days. How about you? That sounds great. What a coincidence. I am also taking an English course. English is essential at the workplace these days. I know. A colleague who completed the course is taking a training in England these days. You are right. I am studying on my own. You know, I am reading novels to have better results. Great. Well, I am doing listening exercise. They help a lot. The only thing is studying. Remember, the U sounds like a soft studying. A studying. Uh -huh. I am studying on my own. That was the only one. Studying. Yes. Studying. Okay. I am studying and the last but not the least. This one between Rita and Luis and that's it. Okay. Rita Luis. And Luis. Yeah, that's uh, page 35. Okay, Luis. Good afternoon. This is Rita. The new secretary, I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the IT staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Good it. Yes, they are arriving on Friday morning. Arriving. Arriving. Ah, you have already. Yeah. Sí. I don't know why. Se me you, olvidó leer ahí. Yeah, you think in Spanish, okay? Some of you think about the pronunciation in Spanish, arriving, arriving, arriving. Mm -hmm. and you said it at the beginning, okay, here materials arriving, but at the end, you forgot, okay, arriving. Okay, Carlos, so um, 
Thank you so much for giving me this time. I know that your baby is demanding your time. Okay, it is next to you. Thank you so much. And I Thank think you. that you are done with everything in the platform, correct? You okay, finish in the platform, finish. yeah? I am okay. finished there. Perfect. Okay, oh, what a relief. Okay, <laughs> have a good night. Have a nice weekend. Enjoy your family and see you Monday, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good night. Okay, bye. Sleep well. Bye-bye.